Many Oakland residents are waiting for answers from their mayor. They want her to explain why the FBI raided her home last week. News we're following for you this afternoon, multiple locations raided by the FBI in Oakland. That includes the home of Oakland Mayor Shang Tao. Mayor was due to appear at an event this morning at 10, but she was a no-show. The raid came just days after a recall was approved, where the resident said she was incompetent and dishonest, and they wanted her out of office. There are too many, there are too many lives that have been lost, too many cars stolen, too many people who've been robbed coming from a bank, followed home, too many things, too many businesses have closed. Just, just, you know, th this mayor has blood on her hand. That was before the raid. Now that their mayor appears to be a part of a FBI probe, many believe she should resign and stop embarrassing an already troubled city. And as someone who's born and raised here, are sick and tired of politicians who are more focused on self-aggrandizement rather than solving the solutions, taking accountability, and stepping down if they are unfit to lead. Take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Xing Tao made history when she was elected the 51st mayor of Oakland, California. Not only was she the youngest mayor ever elected at 37 years old, but she is also the first Hmong American mayor of not just Oakland, but the first Hmong American mayor of any major city in the U.S. There is a sense of pride following Sheng Tao's victory, the newly elected and first Hmong mayor of a major U.S. city. Growing up, you tend to not really see too much Asian representation, like media and whatnot like that. Tao is the daughter of refugees from Laos and speaks often about her past as a domestic survivor and single mother. In 2018, she became the first Hmong to be elected to city council in California. It's exciting to see what happens. Maybe if uh, younger kids have someone to look up to or something to aspire towards, it might help build them up more. After her historic win, the city girl mayor of Oakland first made headlines after residents campaigned to recall that election. That recall was recently approved to allow voters to vote the mayor out of office. But now the city girl mayor of Oakland is hiding and residents can't find her after the feds raided her home last week. Right now on the afternoon edition, breaking news out of Oakland, FBI agents raiding the home of Oakland Mayor Shang Tao. Good afternoon, I'm Sean Chitness in for Ryan Yamamoto. CBS News Bay Area has confirmed the FBI carrying out a series of raids across the city this morning. Let's go right out to the home of Mayor Tao where our Lauren Toms joins us live from Maiden Lane. Lauren, what's the latest? Yeah, hey, Sean, right now I'm outside the home of Mayor Shang Tao in the Oakland Hills. We're told just after 5.30 a.m., neighbors awoke to banging sounds when FBI agents arrived with a search warrant for the mayor's home. About five hours later, our cameras caught agents leaving with about 10 boxes and several bags of material from within the mayor's home. Wow, they came in at five in the morning, stayed at the mayor's house for five hours and carried out 10 boxes. Sounds like the mayor is in big trouble. I'm going to step out of the way for you guys to get a closer look. In a statement today, the FBI confirmed federal activity at this location, but would not elaborate further. Word of the raid has sent shockwaves through Oakland leadership, including Council Member Carol Fife, who told us that she heard about the news live as it was unfolding. I was terribly shocked. Uh, I woke up this morning prepared to address the Juneteenth incidents at Lake Merritt yesterday. And as soon as I turned on the news, I saw uh, what was breaking. And so we am having to regroup to do some investigation and make a bunch of phone calls around what's happening. That event was in Oakland, where some misfits caused over a dozen people to be injured by gunfire, 15 people. But when the mayor's house was raided the next day, all of the city's attention was redirected to their corrupt mayor and all the FBI agents at her house. Um, but the city business still has to go on. I still have to work with our public safety teams and ensuring that we have peace and safety in the city. First thought. 
Now, here on Maiden Lane, FBI has cleared this scene, which has settled down a bit in the last hour. But within about the last 10 to 15 minutes, this red car that you see behind me did pull up and a male exited the vehicle. We're told agents uh, have also visited several other sites this morning, but there is still a lot we don't know about this situation, including the nature of the search warrant or the mayor's possible involvement in this investigation. We have reached out to the mayor's office and all parties involved in this, and we'll keep you updated with every development as they come in. Sean? All right, Lauren Tom's live for us in Oakland. Lauren, thank you so much. Here's a little bit more of what we do know. FBI agents have also raided a home belonging to Andy Duong on Billcrest Court. This is video from over an hour ago. Andy Duong is part of the family that owns Cal Waste Solutions. That's Oakland's curbside recycling provider. According to the company's website, they also serve San Jose. CBS News confirms the company is worth millions of dollars, or excuse me, hundreds of millions of dollars, and employs hundreds of people. And there's more to this breaking story. The FBI just confirmed to us they raided a building that houses both the Cal Waste offices and the Vietnamese American Business Association building in Oakland. This is video we just got into the newsroom from the location on Embarcadero. The Vietnamese American Business Association was established in 2011 in Silicon Valley. And according to their website, the organization is a dynamic connection for government officials, investors, educators, and more. So this all comes as Mayor Shang Tao is facing a recall. The city said yesterday that enough signatures have been verified to send the issue to the ballot, prompting recall leaders to urge the mayor to resign. Critics blame Tao for the A's leaving Oakland and crime in the city. Recall vote will likely happen in November. Law enforcement sources confirmed the raids were part of an alleged public corruption case. Not only was the mayor's home raided, but the home of one of the owners of a $100 million waste business was also raided. Along with a building housing that company's office and the Vietnamese American Business Association. The city girl mayor of Oakland is hiding from the public now. Residents are asking for her to come out and explain what in the world is going on. Mayor Shang Tao, come out talk directly to the people. Tuan No from Asians Unite says Oakland's mayor is MIO, missing in office. We don't know where the mayor is. The mayor needs to come out and be accountable and answer the, the people. We want to hear from her. Uh, we want to uh, her to answer all questions and have transparency on what's going on, not hide behind uh, lawyers. But while some want answers from the mayor, others are saying she's such an embarrassment, she should resign and stop humiliating the city. The cliche, but the silence is deafening following the unprecedented action taken in Oakland by the FBI, the IRS, and the Postal Service. ABC 7 News broke this story with our Lena Howland, the first to report on the raids yesterday. She's joining us live from the mayor's house. Lena. Kamasi, we have been trying repeatedly to get a hold of Oakland Mayor Shang Tao for three days. First for the recall and then for the FBI raid of her home right here behind me. But still, no response. Silence from Oakland Mayor Shang Tao's home Friday morning. A stark difference from the four hours FBI agents spent here on Thursday, carrying out boxes, plastic tubs, and trash bags. Despite a car registered to Tao sitting out front, there has been no sign of the mayor. Our public officials are elected to protect and serve our communities, to be held accountable to represent the interests of everyday constituents. And yet, like you mentioned, our leadership is nowhere to be found and more often are so dodging questions. Jennifer Tran is an ethnic studies professor at Cal State East Bay. She's also the president of the Oakland Vietnamese Chamber of Commerce and is running for Congress. She calls this investigation a distraction from other serious issues in the city, including the Juneteenth shooting at Lake Merritt. 15 people were shot. We are at a point where our voters, everyday constituents, I'm, an, I'm a resident, and, and a neighbor, and as someone who's born and raised here, are sick and tired of politicians who are more focused on self-aggrandizement rather than solving the solutions, taking accountability, and stepping down if they are unfit to lead. That's always the problem. They get in office, they think they can do whatever they want, whatever, whatever, I do what I want, and refuse to be held accountable unless they're forced to. 
Law enforcement sources tell ABC7 this is a public corruption case, with the FBI, IRS, and U.S. Postal Service working together. And it comes only days after the effort to recall Tao was approved to be on the November's ballot. Experts in recalls and resignation was, is saying that it's going to be very difficult for her to regain the trust of the public, given the erosion of trust leading up to this point in the last um, uh, year and a half. The city of Oakland issuing a statement Friday morning saying under the city charter, the city administrator is responsible for the day to day administrative and fiscal operations of the city under the policy guidance of the office of the mayor. In his capacity as city administrator, Justin Johnson directs city agencies and departments to ensure the goals and policy directives of the mayor and city council are implemented. Keep in mind so far, the FBI has only confirmed that they have carried out a court authorized law enforcement activity at the mayor's home. It's still unclear what was found at the four locations searched yesterday. Live in Oakland, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News. Lena, thank you so much. Raids also took place in a quiet neighborhood in the hills of Oakland. The house belongs to Andy Duong. He is listed as director at California Waste Solutions, a recycling company that serves Oakland. Meanwhile, U.S. Postal inspectors collected evidence at a nearby house that belongs to David Duong, Andy's father, who's listed as a CEO of California Waste Solutions. The Duong's family business, California Waste Solutions, released this statement. It reads, California Waste Solutions is fully aware that federal agents executed search warrants at a number of locations in Oakland and related to CWS. The company is fully cooperating with the government's investigation and is confident that government officials will conclude that CWS was not involved in any unlawful or improper activities. She's done done. Not only is she shaming herself and the Oakland community, but her own community is going to make sure she's punished and unable to represent them again because they don't like people misrepresenting them either. No, with this kind of behavior, she's done done. And they're not going to defend her either. But yeah, word is the city girl mayor of Oakland has been involved in a lot of questionable activities surrounding greed and public corruption. That's why the FBI showed up to her house at five in the morning, as well as the waste company's owner's house, their corporate office, and the office of the Vietnamese Business Association. They don't just show up to say good morning. They came to collect all that evidence, boxes and boxes of it. As of now, the mayor has not been seen yet. There's no sign that she's going to resign and she's not in FBI custody either. Since she's got ties to another country, that's her background. You have people speculating that she's going to try to board a plane and flee the country and possibly end up in the same country her family had to flee. Honestly, though, I don't think the city girl mayor of Oakland will flee the country. Word is she just left her home in the city to avoid the media. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. How was the first Hmong American mayor of a major U.S. city and the youngest mayor of Oakland ever, leading a city of over 440,000 residents, caught up in a corruption case? Did the power go to her head? Or did she come down with a case of American greed? Let me know what you think below. Shout out to Tony. I appreciate you, Tony, for all of your support. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective, then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.